Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, the honorable of the judges, who always be guided by the God. First of all, let us praise and thank the presence of Allah Almighty for the abundance of grace and the joy, so all of us can still do our activity without any barriers at all and in the good health. Not forgetting the salawat and greetings we pour out to our Prophet Muhammad who has brought us out of the dark edges to the bright light era today. And then, I would like to say thank you for the chance has given to speak here. On this occasion, I am going to talk about distance learning during coronavirus outbreak. Ladies and gentlemen, nowadays, Indonesia is struggling very hard facing the coronavirus outbreak. This is a struggle for all of us struggle to break up the chain of the spread of this virus. All sectors life feels their repercussions, including education. Since it was announced for the first time, the first case of COVID-19 in March 2020, schools will eliminate face-to-face -face learning and replace it with learning from home. Long distance learning is used as a media during a pandemic because of health and safety of students, teachers, education in the society, and also society at large be a priority. Ladies and gentlemen, a research mentioned several problems arise in implementation of distance learning. Include not everyone parents are able to accompany the children to study at home optimally because they must work. Many students also have a difficulty to concentrate on studying as well, increase the feeling of bored. My school is trying to solve the problem arising in implementation of distance learning. The teachers take advantage of various digital platforms like Classroom, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, Blog, and YouTube. The teacher uses the application according to the characteristics platform. WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook is used for collect learning accounts in the form of student for the volume. For blog is used for give information and study materials. Meanwhile, YouTube is used for self tutorial video. Unfortunately, not all students have a device which can be used to study. Besides that, the existence of an internet channel has become one of the problems in my school. To solve these problems, my school teachers also practice learning offline modes. Students who live is far away from the network of the internet and do not have a device, they keep coming to school every Monday to take the module and do face-to-face -face learning. In a week, face-to-face -face learning only done one day, and five days later, they return to study at home. Ladies and gentlemen, my teacher always become a mentor, provide counseling, and become coaching for their students. My teacher always mentoring the distance learning process when students learn from home. They find the problem and feel depressed, they give us counseling or mentoring. And when we want to achieve our goals, they coaching us. Based on what I feel, Distance learning in coronavirus is not too bad. I have a lot of time to do the assignment. I can expand my knowledge through various technologies on the internet. When find the difficulties, I can ask my parents or my friends. I also become more independent. Nothing is difficult as we are willing to cry. This pandemic is not an obstacle to keep achieving and being creative. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have to stop speaking now. Just remember that we can still active and productive in this pandemic. Be sure that we can do what we want to do. Don't forget to always apply health protocol, always wear a mask when outside, always wash your hands with soap, 
avoid the crowded, and stay healthy. The last, I apologize for all my wrong words. Thank you for your attention. See you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.